Hello, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Cancer. Hi, Cancer. Um, let's see what decks we're using today. I'm going to be using my Oceanic Tarot. I'm going to be using my Romance Angels deck. And my Love Oracle. Okay, so before I forget, I wanted to show off my delicious um, shirt by Cyber Fairy. This is such comfortable, delicious merch. <laughs> and my soul sister, who is on Instagram, she goes by Cyber Fairy, makes these shirts, which are so super soft and comfortable, you guys. The little sigil that's on here um, actually has meaning to it. She created the shirt. So if you know who she is, um, for those of you that don't, this is her name on Instagram, Cyber Fairy. Go and pick up one of these shirts. You won't regret it. It's super soft. It's super comfortable. And I'm in love with this merch. All right. So without further ado, Cancer, let's get started on your general love reading for July. All right. <clears throat> I need to center myself for a minute. All right, let's do our beautiful cancers. Clear the energy. What do our beautiful cancers need to know for the month of July? Angels, archangels, spirit guides, ancestors, and higher self. What do our beautiful cancers need to know right now for the month of July? What do our beautiful Cancers need to know right now for the month of July? Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Higher Self. I am the Clear Channel for Source Messages. Thank you for allowing me to be the Clear Channel for Source Messages. And let's get some cards out for Cancer, please. Reading for Cancer for the month of July. What do we got for cancer, please? What do we got for cancer, please? My camera angle is a little bit screwed up, so I'm kind of turning this way to, so I can face you guys, but my table is like a little bit moved over. I wonder if I can move it over this way a little bit. Oh, I probably can. It's heavy though. It's one of those tables that separate, so I don't want to move it too much because then it'll separate. It has an extension in the middle. Whoa, okay. So we wanted three cards and three cards just flew out. So one second can. All right, so we have Eight of Swords, Restriction, King of Wands, Practicality, and Ace of Wands, Growth. Okay. So right now, it feels like you have some things right now that are holding you back, Cancer. Um, I wanted, I specifically chose this deck for you because, you know, it is a watery deck. And Cancer is a water sign and known for being a, very much in, in tune with their emotions. All right. So it feels like there's a lot of things right now that are holding you back. Now, it... It feels very much so like these restrictions that you're putting on yourself are self-imposed. There's nothing really holding you back. It's all just in your mind. Okay. Um, and I feel the reason for that is because you're in your head about this. These um, things that are happening in your relationship right now. So instead of using your heart... What you're doing is you're being really practical and you're in your head about things. So you're overthinking it instead of just going with the flow and letting your heart kind of lead the way you're using this instead. So um, but your relationship is going to be moving in a different direction. So there's a restriction card. And we have practicality. And the last card that we have was growth. Okay. 
So this was the King of Wands card. And then we have Ace of Wands, which is practicality. I mean, growth. So your relationship is going to be moving in a different direction. Let me see if I can get one, one more card up. Can we get an outcome, please? Where is this relationship going to be headed? Where is this relationship going to be headed? Please, can we get an outcome? Because it does say growth, so it's going to be growing in some form or fashion. I just don't know where, so I'm going to get an outcome card for you. Oh, there's two. Okay, yep. So there's going to be a period of something ending, I think, and then a recovery period because we got full new beginning and recovery, which is four of swords. So if you are in a relationship right now, there is a chance that it could end and you're going to find a new beginning once you heal. Or if you are in a relationship and right now there has been no forward movement, there things are at a standstill, then once you do more of this healing work, recovering, okay, get out of your head and start um, freeing yourself from these self-imposed restrictions, get out of your head a little bit, okay, the relationship will grow and there will be a new beginning, okay, so there's two different storylines, two different possibilities, both of them are coming out very strong, so I'm just going to say them both, okay. All right, we're going to move on to the Romance Angels deck and see if we can get some more answers for you, Cancer. See which of those storylines is most prevalent, whether something's ending or not. All right, can we get some more clarification for Cancer, please? Do we have a relationship ending or a relationship beginning? Can we get some more clarification for Cancer, please? What can you tell me about Cancer's love life, please? What can you tell me about Cancer's love life right now for July? Okay, what do we need to know, please? What are we allowed to know, or should I say? What are we allowed to know? Can you tell us if we have a beginning or an ending, please? Because there was an energy of both. You know what, for some of you, this might be two different storylines. I know lately I've been channeling for more than one group at one time. So, all right. So it's definitely a new beginning. It says this could be the one. You've already meant the romantic partner you seek. Can we get two more cards, please? One just fell on the ground. Worth waiting for. All right. See? So it definitely is a new beginning. So it was the first storyline. All right. Give your relationship a chance. So if you are going through a rough patch... You know, so definitely there was two different storylines I picked up. So the one where the relationship could be ending because I was channeling that storyline as well. It says to give your relationship a chance. Okay. The card, the first card that I got is this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. This could be the one. So cancer, instead of getting all in your head about it and going, oh my gosh, I don't know if this person is my person. They're giving you, they're giving you validation. They are saying, this is your person. This is your person. Okay. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So get out of your head about it. Let your heart do the talking for you. All right. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So your angels and they are angels on this card. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying your angels. Your angels are very heavy around. There's angels on this card as well. There's angels on this last card. It is a romance angels deck. Your angels are saying, be patient. This love is worth waiting for. So hang in there, Cancer. There is divine timing right now in your love life. So all of these things that you're dealing with, all of these feelings, all of this healing, all of this growth is for your highest good. Allow it to happen. Embrace it so that you can go on to this great love. It is worth waiting for. The angels are verifying that for you right now. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So if there's a rocky patch, then you know what? 
you need to work on your relationship. Give it a chance because the angels are all saying this is a great love worth waiting for. Cancer, do not screw this up. Also, the next card on the bottom of the deck, which I felt guided to pull for you, says stay optimistic about your love life. Stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So hang in there. And you also got true love. This is the romance of a lifetime on the bottom of the deck as well. So all of the signs are saying, yes, this person is your person. Okay, time to stay optimistic and remain positive. Allow the changes and the growth to happen. Okay. All right. Now we're going to be reading from the Love Oracle by Simply Spiritual. What do our cancers need to know? How can we end this reading for cancer? What does cancer need to know before I close out this reading? Spirit guides, ancestors, angels, archangels, and higher self. How do we close out this reading for cancer, please? Can we get a final verdict for cancer? What is the thing they need to know right now for their highest good? For their love life in the month of July, please. Tell us what we need to close up with. Woo, there went the first card on the floor. Cancer's got some heavy energy. Whoa, your cards are just flying everywhere. Whoa, I told you you had some great things coming in. Can we get one more card, please? Holy crap. <laughs> Last card is... Yes. All right. Cancer. First card that flew out and hit the ground is proposal. So for some of you, it's self-explanatory. There is going to be, after all of this period of overthinking it, trying to decide whether or not this is your person, this period of doubt, hesitation, um, healing and focusing on yourself, all of the personal growth, you have a marriage proposal on the way. <laughs> um, you also have the travel card. So maybe after this proposal, you guys are going to take a trip together. This is a love reading. So most likely you will be traveling with your person. But the card that came out next is friends. So there's a good chance that you will be traveling with your person. But you're also going to have a group of people with you. You guys might take a little trip together. It is summer. People are traveling with all of the restrictions lifted now. So there's a good chance that when you travel, you'll travel in a group with um, people of your peers, probably to celebrate your guys' proposal. What a beautiful reading, Cancer. All right, so it looks like you have some wonderful things going on for your love life um, in July. So thank you for all of your likes and your just subscriptions. Um, my channel has grown amazingly in this 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 past year. So I I have nobody but you guys to thank for that. And of course me for my hard work. <laughs> um, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you might know that I am teaching a three-day healing workshop with two beautiful souls, Steph Brat 27. And um, my counterpart, um, Stephen Rock, 3311. So please, if you feel guided to, join us on this healing journey. There's going to be a lot of amazing things that we're doing. We are going to focus on sound healing. We're going to focus on um, learning about the Christ consciousness. And we're going to be focusing on um, a technique that we have coined called astral breathing it's basically just a fancy way of deep breathing um, but it's going to be a ton of fun and we would love it love it love it if you guys would join us on this healing journey it's going to be so much fun it's august 13th 14th and 15th at 2 p.m eastern standard time the class is going to be for three days the price is only one 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 okay so 111 dollars and that covers all three days with us so that is a very very low price for a three-day workshop you get me stephanie and steven so you get three energies and we're all going to focus on healing together 
in this massive healing journey workshop. So, um, and that's on a weekend. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we would be so honored if you decided to join us. And hopefully we'll see you there. I love you, Cancer.